Hey there, this is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I'm coming to you with a little haul video. Um, we had the grandkids this weekend, and I survived. I mean, it was great. It was great, but I'm not as young as I used to be, and they're a handful. But, um, so we had to drive to Columbus and get them, and then drive back, and then drive to take them home and drive back. So we stopped at a few thrift stores um, and picked up a couple of things. I thought I would bring those to you in um, a video. So let's just get started. Um, I picked this up. This was three bucks and uh, bucks, get it. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Very cute. Uh, it says baby's first Christmas. I think I can get about $12 out of that. And it may take it a little while to sell since it's, I don't know, January. No, tomorrow's February, so February. So, um, but I don't care. It doesn't really bother me. I just just sold a Snoopy Christmas item today, so you never know. Um, I picked this up, and I was not trying to pick up Christmas items. I just found some that I thought were cool. This is from Disney Parks. And it's this cute little um, just trinket dish or change dish or whatever um, with uh, Mickey Mouse ornaments on it. And on the back, it says Happy Holidays. I paid $2 for this. I haven't looked this up, but I'll probably get around 15 maybe for it. I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. I picked up this bag of, um, like skincare items. I paid six dollars for it and it had these Wonder um, Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks in it and there was it's new six pack pairs in there that'll sell for about ten dollars. This pop trimmer Sonic Trimmer also ten dollars. Um, this Purity Clay Mask from Philosophy, also ten dollars. Um, these Avita Damage Remedy, I think these are hair masks. Yeah, daily hair repair. Um, I think this one may have some missing out of it, but I think this one's full. I'll list these for about fifteen dollars. And then finally, uh, no more baggage eye depuffing cream um, will sell for about ten dollars. So, not bad for a six dollar investment so i got this guy today and he is or maybe i got him yesterday i don't i don't know at all it's all um kind of you know melting together um he is a labrador retriever doorstop um he's got a little velcro there on the bottom and this is from Claywood Creations in Miami, Florida. Um, this was made in 2000, I think. And I saw a similar one. It was a golden lab, I think, or maybe a golden retriever. And it sold for $46, but they didn't even have it listed as a doorstop. I'm not sure they knew that that's what it was. Um, I don't think this one will go for that much, but um, I probably listed it around the $39 um area and see if I can get that. Oh, just about knocked over that entire glass of tea that I was so sure I was not going to knock over. Great. Maybe for lucky I'll break something. I picked up this lot of flatware for $10 and it's got a lot of like restaurant quality flatware. Um, it's all forks and there's several different um, patterns in it. I think there's comfortably 40 or $50 worth of flatware in here. It'll just take some research and, um, you know, and I will be able to figure out how much exactly. Okay. Uh, I paid $4 for this and it is a, um, a Mac charger, I think is what this is. Uh, I'll have to look it up and figure it out. But I have sold similar items, similar Apple items before. Um, and I will 
look that up and see what I can get for it. It may not be worth the four bucks that I paid for it. Um, there is also this Microsoft mouse, but I don't see any place to, unless the top comes off, which it, it looks like it might. Um, but anyway, any place to put the batteries or to see if the the little receiver is there because basically these are useless, in my opinion, in my experience, without the um, receiver. Okay. Well, I'll have to figure that out later. Of course, you know, it's driving me crazy right now. Okay. Moving right along. I picked this up for myself just because I thought it was cute. Um, it says Paris, and and it says Hotel Balfour on the front, and uh, it was two bucks. I'm sure I will put that somewhere. Um, in this box, um, is this Scentsy. Uh, testers it's there's no Scentsy testers in it but it is a storage box for Scentsy text testers I paid a dollar ninety nine for this I don't know if it'll be worth anything at all but you know I like to throw stuff to the wall and see if it sticks figuratively of course usually I like to throw it on the floor and see if it breaks but I can't always do that uh, I paid five dollars for this and this is a lot, a lot, a lot of um, dog toys, and like this one is brand new, and it's a Nebula treat dispenser, um, really nice. I have not looked these up, because quite frankly, if they're not worth anything, I'll just keep them. We've got dogs now. Um, this is also by, no, this is a, our Chewy Target and oh this is this is called nebula not by nebula but um anyway these are by super chewer this is our chewy target this is nebula um and the final one is not new or doesn't have anything new on it um but it looks like Maybe one of those toys you have to work really hard to get the treat out of. Um, but I will look these up. And, you know, that stuff's expensive. Because dogs are expensive. Um, but I'm sure that those are worth messing with. I picked these up. I paid $2 each because I, I hate it when Goodwill, and not, and not exclusively Goodwill, but I hate when thrift stores do that. These are clearly a pair, right? You know, you don't, nobody buys one bookend unless that's the only thing available and it's some subject matter that they have to have, like it. But for the most part, nobody's buying just one if there are two on the shelf. So it makes me crazy when they price things that are clearly a set separately. Um, that being said, I just hit myself in the face. Um, I pay $2 each for these. Um, these are cloth covered and very cute nautical bookends will be darling in a little boy's room and I yes I just said darling um but I have again not looked any of this up so um I have no idea what that will be worth maybe something maybe nothing um I picked this up I paid two dollars for it it's a bag of flatware um this is all Oneida very well done like very expensive Nida Nida, because we're close. I don't call Oneida by its full name. We're, you know, we're, we're like this. So Nida and I, um, it's not like that at all. So I think these are child's utensils. I say that because otherwise they're samples. I don't know. Um, but there's a dinner fork, salad fork. Here's like an iced teaspoon, an oval soup spoon, 
and there's probably about two full sets and maybe some extra pieces in here. There is a round soup spoon and yeah. Oh, and let's not forget the dinner knife. But um, these are very small and they are marked. That's probably not gonna focus. They're marked Oneida, very well done. Um, I don't have any idea what these are worth, but something. You know what I'm, you know what I say, maybe something, maybe nothing. Um, I haven't picked up one of these for a while. This is a Tupperware steamer, and um, I generally do okay with these. I paid $4 for this one. I have sold this piece for $7 before. Um, but this is three pieces. I've parted these out. I've sold them together. Um, I may sell this one together because it, I think it's complete. So um, we'll just see on that. They do not move. They do not move like incredibly fast, but they do sell for decent money when they sell. I paid 99 cents for this, and it is another one of those, I believe this is a Breville pitcher for a, a juicer, and um, these usually sell for about $25 for me. I picked this up, it's not worth a whole lot, um, if I was more into buying dolls, I'd probably keep it. It is the American Girl Doll um, Ultimate Visual Guide, and this helps you identify the, the dolls um, that American Doll has um, released, I guess, throughout its history. But y'all know I never studied no history. I paid $8 for this lot of flatware. And I'm pretty sure that this little bundle right here that's all taped together is nada. And of course they got the tape right over the name. Because uh, they like to make me work for it. But... Um, and then it's got some older knives. Um, these probably aren't worth anything. Very Art Deco. Um, but I'll probably throw these in a flatware lot. Uh, and then there's some more Oneida in there. I'll try not to bore you to death with this video. I'm kind of low energy because I'm exhausted from having the kids this weekend. I'm not even funny right now. Um, I've sold this before. This is a letter folder, which sounds incredibly lazy, but if you've got to send out, you know, 50 chain letters or, you know, 50 announcements or, you know, whatever, um, this will fold them for you um, very quickly. It does three sheets at a time and it will do uh, business size letters only. So, um, I paid $3 for this. I think the last one I sold sold for in the $50 range. Um, also not a fast seller, but, um, you know, I'll wait for that. I'll wait for the 50 bucks. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay. Um, I found this Pampered Chef Chopper. I paid $3 for this. It's got a little, um, sink basket in it that is neither here nor there. I don't know what the chopper sells for. If it doesn't sell for very much, I'll part it out um, so they can stretch a few more dollars out of it. Uh, I bought this lot of dolls. They're $4, but I think there's a little like Skipper. Not like Skipper! No, no, no. Not like Gilligan's Island Skipper because that's a completely different kind of Skipper. Uh, but like Barbie's little sister skipper. Um, not a whole lot of great stuff in here, but you know, there's some decent, decent stuff. Um, I paid $8 for this. And this is a complete Mullinex uh, turbo hand blender. And um, 
this should part out nicely for me. Um, or it might, it, if it's worth it, I'll sew it together and not have to part it out. Now, I have not figured this out. I paid $2 for it. And I don't know if it's just a souvenir. It's kind of dirty. But, um, so I may have to clean it. But it is a Minnetonka moccasin, like, piece of art. I thought maybe it was a, like, a display piece for the places that sell the shoes, but it's got a barcode on the bottom, which makes me think not so much. Um, so I really don't know. Uh, it really needs to be cleaned up, but I'm, I was curious, so I went ahead and bought it um, for $2. It was worth the risk just to learn something about it, but I know the Minnetonka moccasins don't always sell for all that much, but this was something unique, so I thought I'd pick it up. I paid two dollars for this and this is a package well several packages of um like printer paper i don't know why i've been buying this stuff lately but i have been i have sometimes i just turn into a valley girl and i don't know why because i've never been to the valley maybe i know a little about hidden valley ranch but wrong valley i think that's uh not what they're talking about, I think. I just wanted to open these up so you could take a gander. So there's a couple of these scroll patterns. Um, these have 25 sheets in them. It says it's letterhead, but I think of it as more like a newsletter um, stuff to print on. I think these are vintage too, like from the 90s maybe. They're not, I don't know. And then there are four that are the sky, like the, the clouds. Anyway, these are called geographics. And again, I didn't look anything up, so I don't know if it's worth anything. Um, so I picked this up. Uh, these are, I paid 99 cents for this. The little vials say they're step one of L'Oreal Green. something. Re anyway, this is like a glycolic acid kind of renovist. But this is for like those peels. Uh, I guess it's a do it at home thing. Um, I don't know if it's worth anything, but, and I don't know the first thing about beauty. <laughs> um, what I do know about though is Thomas Kincaid stuff. And I picked this up. I think it's like three plates that fit together. And we checked it over for chips and everything. Paid six bucks for it. And the darn kid didn't wrap it. And it chipped on the way home. So, um, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, what I will do, if it's worth it, is I may just sell the replacement parts. Because, you know, sometimes these things end up breaking, uh, you know, and someone, people that collect Thomas Kincaid are very loyal to Thomas Kincaid. They love it. They will pay whatever for it. Um, and I'm okay with all of that. But this is a kind of a piece like this. And then the broken piece would go on the right. Uh... This is the road to the teacup cottage. This is the teacup cottage. And then the other piece is the breaking and entering of the teacup cottage. You know, the gardens of the teacup cottage. So I'll have to look this up. But I'm really bummed that they chipped it. But, you know, kids, and I mean the little guy that didn't want to wrap it up, um, Arthur. Paid 99 cents for this. It's Arthur Goes to the Library game. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't know if it's um, complete, but I've had luck with Arthur books, and I thought maybe um, if it's not complete, I'll sell, sell some parts for it. I picked this up for myself, and I just thought it was really cool. 
it reminds me of my friends. Oh, you know who you are. Um, I paid $1.99 for this. It's called a portable puzzle, and it's supposed to have one of those um, mats that you can roll up. Uh, but, um, but it does not, in fact, have that, but that's okay. Um, it'll be a fun puzzle to put together. It's only a thousand pieces. How long can that take? Right? Right? Am I right? All right. I have just a few things left. And tomorrow I'm going to go to a funeral. Hopefully not my own. Um, but uh, I'm hoping to bring you a sales video. Um, I did all my shipping tonight because I have to be gone fairly early in the morning. But I will show you the things that sold. At this point, I think I have shipped 15, maybe? 15, 16, something like that. So it did pick up for me after being kind of slow at the beginning of the week. Uh, I picked up this cute little Woodstock um, plush. Probably not worth much. I don't think I paid very much for this because um, there was no tag on it. Let me just consult. 99 cents. Yeah, 99 cents for this little guy. So, And then a couple more puzzles. Um, this one is called an Easy Grasp. It's a 300 piece puzzle. Um, and it's a painting by Monet, I think. Maybe not. I may have just made that up. Okay, I, mean, I made it up. Wonderful. And then I thought this was really cute. It's a thousand piece puzzle. Look at that. It's adorbs. Absolutely adorbs. So anyway, um, I've gotten into the puzzle thing lately. Can't stop myself. Tried to, couldn't. Um, picked this tapestry up today. It's the months of the year. And um, I saw a similar one sell for, I don't know, three dollars and something I will not be listing this one for three dollars so it won't sell for three dollars I paid dollar fifty I think for this one no a dollar for this one I'm gonna list this for it probably in about the twelve dollar fifteen dollar range it's really cute and it's pretty well done actually I mean it's a machine um, woven tapestry but it's really kind of nice um, the last thing I think that I have to show you is this clock, and I feel like, oh, there we go. Um, it is, that looks so weird, because this is 12, and it just looks weird. Anyway, I paid $5 for this, and this plays a little... plays a little uh, tune on every hour. Um, I couldn't find one exactly like this sold or listed. I'm going to list this in the $25 range and just see what happens. Um, it's It works. It's in good shape. Uh, I need to clean it up a little bit. And, you know, some music teacher or, I don't know, other people that like music and want a mini symphony every hour, even while they're sleeping, might want this clock. Anyway, that's what I picked up. I didn't spend a whole bunch of money, probably somewhere around $100, um, but I stopped at like three or four stores, so it's probably not that much. But yeah, um, I did set myself a few goals. My first goal is to get to $6,000 a month in the month of February, which starts tomorrow, and it's a short month. I don't know why I do that to myself. And then my next goal is to get to $10,000 a month by the end of June. Um, I don't know if I can do this, but we'll see. I mean, goals are important. I learned that in rehab. Um, yeah, thank you for being here. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Uh, just remember that the dream works when you do, so keep dreaming, keep working. I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.